Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Star Citizen. So I bought the game a um, long time ago, but um, I was, uh, as many of you, waiting for the um, for updates uh, to see if um, yeah the user experience would be improved. Um, and today I decided that I would um, give it a, a shot here in in the channel uh, what's going on here I cannot open door ah no not close enough okay so we're starting with um, with the game in in this um, how is it called again area area something they they've changed uh, the the places where you can start the game, right? I think they um, removed uh, one of them. They did something. Uh, but in the past, this game has been um, really difficult to 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 play. Let's say it was not playable, and still it's in, in, in it's in its alpha state. And it's uh, being heavily worked on. Okay, so we start here. Ooh, and I I've seen uh, area eighteen is called this this place. Um, when. When I'm playing in in this um, starting area, uh, the game doesn't run smoothly for me. But once I'm out of this area, then um, in space or even in in other planets, it runs more smoothly. I guess that um, there's a lot going on here, and that's the reason why. Um, it's so so slow or so what what is no this is like the trading thing i want to go to to the spaceport but in order to go to the spaceport i have to take a uh, a public transportation yes here I think this is some public transportation system there it is so the train is arriving I have just to get in um, yeah and then the, the, this this game the idea they have with this game is that everything is seamless right there's no loading screen um, it makes the transition from one uh, environment to the other uh, seamlessly uh, so for example this little trip we are taking in this um, shuttle is um, is done to uh, load the next uh, like the next uh, area where we're going to end up in and it's it's a really cool concept I think it's uh, it's something that I don't know if this is the first time someone tries to do this or a game tries to do this but um, of course it, it helps with the immersion these loading screens always um, cut the immersion in the game it's a little it's a little crazy this ride because yeah from it, it's like a um, an air shuttle but then comes into this uh, sort of highway yeah where we find a lot of uh, flying cars i would say and and then it does this maneuver that i think in real life would be a little bit dangerous Okay, but we are here already. We are in at our destination. 
So now what we have to do is retrieve our ship from from some hangar. Ah, here's the uh, in this direction is the spaceport. We have these uh, st stores or shops where you can shop uh, things for your character, like clothes and weapons and things like that. Okay, hopefully we will make it to to the spaceport. Currently it's a bit... Um, ah, here. Here I can just retrieve my vehicle. And every time they make updates, they will... Um, ah, I only have the Aurora, okay. I have more ships here, but it seems like... Now I only have the Aurora. Okay, it's in Hangar 3. Obey all security and customs personnel at all times. Their job I think that the Aurora is really small, right? I think it's a, it's a, a starting ship, a, a small starting ship. Okay, uh, Hangar 3. Um, where is Hangar 3? Yes, Hangar Elevators. This way, Hangars. And then we go to Hangar 3 where our ship should be waiting. And you can see that in the head of display it's it's pointed to the ship. Yes, this is like the starting the starting ship. Let's enter the ship. So we can... I think in this ship we can transport really um, small things. So now from... from Now we, we will get into the cockpit and now we have this UI. I have to turn on the... the Let's make it flight ready. Because flight ready is... You can power on the, the, the ship or you can make it flight ready. Flight ready is um, a shortcut to turn everything that you need on. Instead of separately uh, turning on the things. Okay. And what we want to do... This is the com. The global chat. I we want notifications off. That's one thing. Um, but the other thing is that we have um, trader equipment vehicle loadout. Um, we can take uh, missions from this uh, from this UI. Uh, Trade the trade you trust, secure and convenient personal transaction from anywhere. Okay, I don't remember seeing this. Your party. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, there's. I think I can I can transfer things to uh, online friends and such. Okay, but what I wanted to do this is. Uh, this UI is accessed through F1. For me, it's F1. Um, and to interact with with uh, with buttons and doors and things is with F. Just so you know. So let's see. Uh, I think it is a contract manager here. In the contracts manager, 
you will have these missions. So for example, there is this mission. Hi, so it seems uh, that some forms got processing correctly and a shipment of Duluth, Duluth Thermex was mistakenly delivered to the wrong address. Unfortunately, we only realized the mistake after the original transport ship left the system and now I need another pilot to correct, correctly finish the delivery. The reason why I would have been better for the original ship to take care of this is that the delivery was quantum sensitive. The little the looter. Oh, it changed. Okay. Okay, but I think it's is the the same thing. So we just we just have to collect uh, some ship some um yeah some package and deliver it on walla this is on walla yes this is also on walla i think it's, it's the same just accept one of these offers and we're ready to go it, the, the already my um ui is tracking is tracking the mission but now what i need to do is to um request i want to request um to take off to leave the oh there's some repairs to be done Okay. Yes, this is the Moby glass. What we are looking at now. Okay, so that's it. Now we need to request. Yeah, here in the communications, in this uh, com link, you have area 18 landing service and then you you click here and say um, you're hailing. Okay, you hail and then they let you... So, and as you can see here, the, the, the top of the hangar is opening and then we're clear to, to take off. So now we just take off. Take off. You have to press the space bar, like leave the space bar uh, pressed for some time and then it will take off and then you are in this flight mode. And you can see that my UI is showing where we should go. You have to be careful here. Oops. It's a little bit sensitive. Or more sensitive. This is a smaller ship. The other one I had was bigger. But unfortunately I crashed it. <laughs> Doing yeah, some stupid tests. So we have to go forward. I think through this area. He let's gain some altitude restricted area ahead yes there's like a some spot maybe we should we should clear the air uh, no. where can we go then this is uh, this part right Everything is restricted. Okay. Is this area restricted as well? No. Okay, so I think we have to go restricted.
We just got, have to go upwards, I think. And stop messing around. Okay, this... Um, we are now in cruise mode. This is with a C uh, key. And then we can just set the, the speed uh, at which we want to travel. And there's our destination, so let's point the ship towards our destination. And that, there we are, we are headed to our destination. And now we have to spool, quantum spool the, the ship. Now it's pulling the ship. Yeah, when it's pulled, you press B again. You you let it press for a for a for a bit. So with B, you start pulling. You press B once. You tap it, and and it pulls. And then once it's pulled, you uh, press B again, but you let press for some time uh, until it uh, starts uh, the quantum jump. Okay. So there is our destination. 485 kilometers ahead. And is this uh, planet or moon? Let's try to accelerate it. So this ship, this starting ship is really small. But you can uh, place small um, packages in the interior. Here behind the... The, the cockpit. So for small uh, courier missions is okay ah uh, and by the way i didn't uh, i didn't re retract my uh, landing gear this this is with the n key so with the n you you deploy or you uh, retract the, the landing gear So one thing of Star Citizen is that, um, what I like, is that you have this uh, immersion where you go through all this process of uh, being in your uh, sleeping quarters to your ship. And it's all seamless, right? Like you get up, you go to the spaceport, you request for your ship, and then you interact with your ship to get into into it so there's um, at any point there is no uh, loading screen it's seamless so it resembles uh, real life so you you have like this um, idea of uh, or notion about the size of the ship the size of the places you're in 
the um, you you have this uh, sensation that you are part of the of the of this universe also um, you can see that uh, things are are huge or you have the sensation that like planets are really big or the cities are big um it doesn't feel um how i will call it it doesn't feel like you are it, it feels open world like you you are not like limited by some choices and you have to go certain route or um it it feels really open world like you can go anywhere you can do um whatever you like yeah as long of course as as you um you have the resources but then you can um yeah obtain those resources by doing different things currently uh to in this episode we are trying the the hauling mission right we are just hauling a package is a a very common thing in in this space open world uh, games to start hauling stuff to earn money there are other ways to earn money like mining and um, bounty hunting of course also trading so it's it's uh, very similar to elite in that sense um but it has taken so long to to develop because what they, what they are trying to do has never been done before like all these seamless things i think elite had a very uh, different approach or or a more simplistic approach and elite is quite good but it lacks this um i always wanted to like um now we are entering the atmosphere i always wanted to walk inside sh my ship now they have this odyssey um dlc but but the odyssey expansion you cannot still walk inside the ship but you can you they they added like this fps mechanic where you can mm, make missions on foot and and that kind of things that of course um star C citizen already have so one thing i like about elite that you don't find in in star citizen is that elite has the entire galaxy right they created this they procedurally created uh, the Milky Way galaxy, of course, the, there are the real stars or real systems that are represented in the in the universe. But otherwise, a lot of things are just procedurally generated, which feels which feels um, a lot uh, more open world. In Star Citizen, uh, you don't have that. Um, so much of a procedurally regenerated universe so the unit the universe here is handcrafted or uh, the, the different planets the different stations are handcrafted by the developers the procedural part is in the i guess the terrain the atmosphere also you have all this weather stuff that you don't have in elite or at least um, 200 kilometers ah two hundred kilometers we're really um far away still so this is this is a, a an important difference this is an important difference the, like the, the the universe in in star citizen is handcrafted the universe in um in elite dangerous is more procedural and then you have all these factions fighting each other here you have different corporations i guess that also there's 
it's um, there is a faction system but until now it um, perhaps there has been little to do um, in, in in star citizen like these open open world games uh, present a challenge right uh, they present the challenge of um, what what are you going to do in these games you have to set your own goals and sometimes it can get um yeah repetitive or what is your goal like to have different ships maybe you you think okay i want to try different ships so in order to do that i need resources so you engage in some activity that um gives you the resources you 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 need in order to buy a better ship in order to upgrade your ship but as soon as you try the different ships then that's it right you, there's no more to do and it can get quite um, repetitive depending on, on what you're doing um, another goal you can set for yourself is to to become elite in the case of elite dangerous like to to make your character become elite in a, in a particular um, yeah in a particular activity or um, your goal could be ex exploring to explore the galaxy something like that but it requires yeah, that, that the that the user engage with uh, with the universe and set its own goals. Otherwise, you could get a bit lost. So here in in Star Citizen, um, yeah, I started playing it long time ago, and I was checking out different ships. I was also doing some exploration. But I felt like there was little to do in, in, in Star Citizen. Now I'm picking up the game after quite a while. Uh, and I'm looking forward to see what, what you can do with it. I, I think, yeah, they, they've, uh, they have gone through several refactoring cycles. I think they, they change the, 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 how the ship works. Like they they turned the, the ships into this modular system that added complexity, and I feel like there are many things they do that you don't immediately see what what the consequences are, or you you don't see the effects of the of the changes uh, from the developers, and that makes that contributes to the feeling that nothing is changing or it's not progressing um, but I think this is a really long run this is like a marathon they are running a marathon I I have not like given up on, on the game or, or lo lost faith I just see that they are really in a long run I understand people that they they, they bought the game from the beginning and they feel disappointed that um, they don't see much changing um, yeah but I think um, we have to be patient on I, I, I cannot I cannot say now what 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 the like the the end of uh, star citizen will be or what what would be the like the outcome So I like this uh, way of interacting with the with the with the controls of the ship. And look, I could. I, it seems like I can interact with the individual parts of the like to raise raise the shields in this 
what I'm I would do here is to raise the shields or or change the shields of the ship like the front this is the front shield the back shield so the port and the starboard shields and there's a menu that you can bring up here well i like this i like um how you um are able to interact with uh with uh controls in elite is more yeah uh, in elite it's like you you are focusing on one particular um section of of the cabin i i also like this i mean both games I feel like both games are really good or or Star Citizen has the the potential to become a really good game but I feel like I, I like um, the UI I like the 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 ships that they are they they bring they have um, designed I love this seamless um, thing they 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 pulled off of course i see also i have seen many bugs and and yeah like they need to optimize a lot of uh, things or a lot of um, processes I, I would say still and as i said in these um, large areas like the starting area there where we where we were in area 18 uh, my computer lags, lags, uh, yeah, noticeably. But of course, this this is not like the main um, the main part of the game. It's just a starting point, and from there you you go elsewhere. Also, I like all these atmospherics they they added to the game. Um, the the planets. Yeah, from and from the beginning, you didn't have planets in, in. You couldn't go to planets in Elite Dangerous. So in in that sense, it, it was very much following the original game. So it's not like uh, Elite Dangerous needed the that thing, but or that mechanic. It I don't feel that it needed the FPS stuff as well. It's just that to keep, of course, to keep um, the players interested in the game, playing the game, they, they have been adding all these things. People, well, I know that um, they promised, right? They promised uh, things in, in, in Elite, in Elite, for Elite Dangerous when it was um, starting, that they didn't deliver from the beginning. But let's say that at least they were following the original game uh, and was like an, an actual improvement of the original game. Of course, it, this was very old. From Imagine from the... This game is from the 80s. The original Elite. I used to play it, by the way. <laughs> Uh, when it um, when it came out for the Commodore 64 and the Amiga as well, I used to play a lot. And this was for me. This was the the first experience with an open world game. Uh, for me, Elite is the the first open world game ever, and it was new in that sense. Like it was amazing that uh, you had such a concept. Oh, this open world concept like you you would do whatever you you like that the the game didn't have an end or a go uh, an end goal or yeah you could say you could say well i want to be elite but but there were different paths you could follow to to like to earn money and yeah it was very new to us at that time and I saw, um, yeah, from that time I saw the problem of open world, or at least for me, like, 
I feel um, I, I play elite but since some time now I haven't played anymore and one thing is that it um, it, it has become repetitive like I'm doing like these missions but I don't know why I'm doing that uh, or I don't I have like the ships I have tried like different ships and yeah I'm happy with with the ship I have now or I have two or three ships that I always use and I'm not looking forward to try other ships they introduced this carrier stuff, but I didn't really um, got into that. I didn't understand very very well what they were trying to do there. Um, so yeah, this is for since the the old days when I, when I was playing elite I felt also this that at, there's a point where you say well I don't know why I'm playing this this is the, the challenge of open world that uh, the user has to somehow have this connection with the world you're creating also is the problem for example with Minecraft right another open world game so yeah depending on on what you like or what you do um you will play it for some time but but i think in the long run it's hard to just keep playing the same game so these these are experiments this, all these open world games are experiments and I think if you compare it with, with, a, with, a, with a game that has a, a goal you cannot say like that to have a game with a goal is better because I think probably people spend more time playing open world games than than a game with a goal right i'm not sure about this but but um it seems to me like that that's the case so for me they are already successful i mean if people are enjoying these games if people are playing um more these games than they play other games then they are already successful and and it's not to say that there shouldn't be game with goals i think it's 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 good to play <laughs> all type of games like each one has its um its good things and and its um its pros and cons right But let's see, it, um, I think for me it has been early yet to say anything about um, Star Citizen's like defini definitive. <laughs> so this is a long trip, but I, yeah, I, I, I've been so focused on, on thoughts about open world and comparing Elite Dangerous with Star Citizen that <laughs> I got carried away in that monologue I hope <laughs> I don't bore you to death just thoughts uh, and as you can say <laughs> you can see this this game mechanic um, contributes to the <laughs> to the monologue <laughs> Like, yeah, like if you were driving in, a, in in some highway, <laughs> in the night, you're making a really long trip. I mean, I'm comparing it with a real trip uh, on Earth <laughs> in some car or, I don't know, truck. If you're a hauler, <laughs> <laughs> but 
Okay, well, but we are almost there. Otherwise, I would just edit the video and take out all this uh, time I spend traveling. But this is another aspect of this type of game, right? Like you... You are... Um, you are engaged in this activity that doesn't require your 100% uh, attention. And you could be like watching a video or listening to a podcast while, while playing. This is a really peculiar um, experience, right? That you don't find in other games. Okay, so I think we are almost there. I, I came out of... Um, I came out of um, cruise mode, cruise flying mode. And now we are in this like um, control flight where the ship is just floating. I think I we should um, go down. We're a thousand uh, meters. I, I, I say my guess is that these are meters. So we're still a little bit far away. Okay, but here we we come. Oh, I'm doing something else. Here you have to be careful which which key you press because <laughs> my last accident was just um turning turning off the engine. Okay, I, I need to deploy the landing gear. So we are almost there. I think if you want to land on on that platform there, I think you have to request permission. So I won't land there right now. Uh, sometimes they just deny this permission or this has been my experience in the past. So I will land here in like this no man's land. Yeah, that's it. So now I can just um, get out of here by pressing Z. Also, you can do it with the F. And you can see that the interior is very small. It's just this space here and then there's like a bunk bed back there. And that's it. That's really it. So let's exit right. So there's the package, right? Uh, we have to get into that building, pick it up. We 
we have to open the door and then we have this airlock here and we have to cycle the oh sorry we have to cycle the the airlock and there is our package so this thing here you will see that it has some um, some warning there and the warning is that we cannot go to we cannot make these um, quantum jumps with this cargo because this cargo will um, interfere with a with a with a this is what I understand. I, I have never tried to make the quantum jump with this cargo. But it's not necessary, uh, I think, because uh, uh, the delivery... The place we're going to deliver this is um, nearby, I think. So now we are just going to get into the ship I, I thought this was already opened never mind okay now we have our our package here and what we're going to do is we're going to place it yeah there's this option to place or to drop we place it there there it is. It's perfect. Our ship has enough space for that. Now we enter the pilot seat. And already our destination is um, marked. So let's... Um, Take off. Okay, it seems that where is the destination? Pick up package. Um, oh, that's strange. These are just Mm -hmm. a drop off package there this is uh, 500 okay it's in the other like in the other side of the of the planet so we are going to enter cruise mode now oh, first we retract the landing gear and we enter cruise mode And uh, yes, so the 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 place to to deliver the package is at the other side of the planet or moon or whatever this is. So needless to say this multiplayer so I'm I'm playing in a persistent universe. Uh, so everything I do here is um, changing the universe uh, that is shared among other players. Um, you encounter of course other players and you are um, as in elite dangers you are exposed to pirate pirating and yeah um like um all these um pvp interactions also you can play co-op with your friends and that that um that type of um game is uh, one i look forward uh, co-op like you if you have a big ship uh, that can be crewed by different players that's a really enjoyable experience I like that I like that um, sort of um, I 
I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Let's see. No, this is the pickup area. It continues to show some pickup area. Yeah, but definitely the 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 delivery location is in the other side. I think we we could if we are far away um, far away enough from the planet then we can we can make a quantum jump ah no sorry of course not because we have this cargo <laughs> I forgot Yeah, but at least we we can go faster if we are out of the atmosphere. That's for sure. Or at least we are going to spare fuel. Um, okay, I think shift is the afterburner. Is it like that? Yes. Well, I'm not sure. I don't see. I feel like it's uh, thrusting, but. Thrust 30, thrust 50. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so here we have to drop the package. Is the um, distance... Yeah, the distance is decreasing at least. But you see that we have to go around the planet. Ah, and, and we are now in space. We are not like uh, flying in the atmosphere. Because you see that the UI changed. And you see um, the velocity vector is this um, like little brackets you see there. It's the velocity vector. So when I shift the direction, you can see that the velo velocity vector um, takes a while to align with uh, with uh, the direction I'm pointing in. So. It is uh, Star Citizen has this uh, flying mode where is, I think it's fly assist. I I'm not sure if you can fly in this in, in inertial mode. I uh, I th I don't remember trying this out, but maybe it's possible. I don't know. Okay, we are coming around the day side of the planet. Well, 
we're coming out the night side into the day side right you can see the star there I really enjoy these this, um, this trips, like these long trips, like only um, only um, enjoying the, 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 the scenery and the, yeah, and the, and the, the silence in space. Like not being, um, I like not being um, forced, like to be uh, on top of uh, like the, the the controls and thing. Like um, I can I can I can enjoy the trip and not having to to look after everything at at, at each. Uh, second or minute because yeah because um, I know that if I leave it there for for a while nothing will will break or yes or I will be attacked or something well it could happen <laughs> of course but it's not I think it's not very likely at this point So you see the planet here. It's a it's a small planet or moon with with um, with an, an atmosphere. It seems that it's not very thick atmosphere. Um, I didn't pay attention to the to the to the temperature. Some sometimes these planets are very cold, and um, yeah, you can you are um, if you don't have the proper gear, you you risk. <laughs> dying uh, because of uh, freezing okay but it's nice that we we see this um, contrast between the night side and the day side of the of the planet Ah, by the way, you can also perform these uh, e EVAs. Um, in my experience, uh, you would do this if, for example, you find a wreckage in space, you can make EVAs and salvage some things from the wreckage.
Okay. Okay, so we are close now. Two hundred seventy kilometers. I think we should be going down. I mean, decreasing altitude when we should approach. The planet atmosphere. So there's our velocity vector is aligning with um, our orientation. So we are entering the atmosphere. Yeah, so um when when um I think Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous were um Uh, we're coming, we're, we're announced like uh, really close in time to each other and uh, both, uh, both games uh, were inspired by previous uh, games made for, yeah, the, the 80s uh, personal computers and at the beginning like they didn't see each other uh, as competitors like they were competing with each other they saw it as different games but but uh, as time has um, went on we, we saw like elite dangerous came out first or at least in a, in a playable form but since then, um, Elite Dangerous have um, been adopting like the mechanics that m made um, Star Citizen more unique, like this FPS uh, gameplay. So I don't know what will be the future of these games, if they will compete for player... <laughs> A player's time or player um, 
market? I don't know. But it's very interesting what we are seeing. Um, the predecessor of, uh, or the inspiration of Star Citizen was this Wing Commander game. I also played it. So we are cl very close now. Let's reduce the speed. And let's deploy the landing gear. Let's shift to to this control flight mode or landing mode, I should say. It's like the landing mode. And there we have our destination. We have to drop off the package there. And as you can see, the altitude now is negative, so we are in a like in a crater of the planet, or a, how would you call this? Like some sort of um, basin, or yeah, some sort of valley. Let me see if we can go a little bit closer. So the altitude is not like giving us much clue about, only the visuals are giving us the clue how close we are to the ground. Oh, I hope we don't bump into some... Some uh, rocks or something. There we go. Landing complete. Landing complete. And now we have to pick up our, our package and deliver it. So carry. Open door. Exit right. And here we go. We have to drop it here. Cycling. So, uh, I'm wet or something. So where do we have to deliver this? I, I think it's here. We just press this. And we... Place in oops what's going on i didn't let me okay so what do i do now some weird thing was going on place 
Okay, it's doing some strange. Ah, it's because it doesn't know exactly where to place it. Oh, this is strange. No, I fail like to interact. I don't know what's going on here. Come on. It does some strange. No, it, it's very. It's very unstable. I cannot place it. Let's see if it... Oh. There. There. So? What happened? It didn't understand that I delivered something. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So let me see. It's it's this mission finished or what? I hope so. Contracts accepted. Ah, uh, uh-huh. No, but uh, there were two packages, not only one. Okay, I missed that. But the delivery is not done. Ah, uh, probably. Hmm. It could be that uh, this is not the drop location for this package. Let's see. Maybe because there were like these two... Um, you see there's another pickup there okay so uh, yeah I don't know I don't know what's going on Yeah, there's nothing here. Well, this is strange. I don't know what happened here. It doesn't accept this package, so I will take it. It seems that it's waiting for the other one or I don't know. Drop off package. Area 48. Yeah, there's something weird here going on. I don't really know what's going on. But it seems like I... Either it's not accepting the package or uh, it's some bug. Or this is not the place to do it. But I see that there's another package that it's waiting. It could be some bug because I know that that in the past we have had um, bugs with that uh, delivery thing, and you saw there that it was really unstable um, accepting the the package. Um, by the way, you can just turn off the 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 ship if you are out of it, but because here you see that it's creating all these um, what's it called. All this dust. Okay, but I think 
I will try to solve these uh, issues. But I will leave the, the episode here. So you guys um, can can see what's the, the status of this game as of this episode. Oh, it doesn't let me. <laughs> okay. It doesn't let me place it anywhere. It just dropped it. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's everything for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one. So this is Cyber Settler signing off.